And it looks like Toto's coming back for a sequel that nobody ever asked for. Look, there's Toto. Where did he come from? He's the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas back again with another Yellow Brick Reels game, and this time it looks like Toto is the hero of the story. We are playing Toto's Tale, and I have absolutely no idea how this differs from the original Yellow Brick Reels game. All I know is that I've got 600,000 chips that I'm going to bet per spin. We're going to do it 100 times, so that means we're going to put 60 million chips through the machine just to see how well we do. So let's go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock on your mark, get set, ready, and go. All right, thank you guys for joining us on the podcast uh, the other day there, and special thanks again to uh, our co-hosts uh, for dropping by and actually making some time because they, you know, they do their own channels and all, and they have their own work to do. So I, it really means the world to me that we can collaborate and do some work. And thank you all for suggesting videos to everyone and passing the information along. I mean, I get the best references for my channel from just word of mouth. So you guys do it. And, uh, doing what you do and watching the videos and liking the videos and telling people about them is the best way for me to grow so thank you all so much for encouraging the growth there uh, so right now what I'm doing planning a little bit of a trip as you guys know still haven't decided exactly where I'm gonna go thinking MGM Grand uh, since we're on the subject of yellow brick reels over here which ironically was also a uh, I think it was ironically also a Wizard of Oz themed casino at one point which I find uh, pretty interesting. I thought it was definitely one of the coolest ones. And they still have a little bit of a movie theme right there, too. I think the big... Oh, there we go. There's a big one. Three million chips to work with. We don't often get that many chips in a row. All right. So, really would like to see what the bonus is. Now, if this is anything like the other Yellow Brick Reels, what happens when you hit the bonus is that... Uh, so when you hit the bonus, it starts, uh, well, if it's anything like the Pop Slots one, it actually starts skipping you down the road, and then you actually have to play this whole challenge. But I think with the Toto ones, it actually does a respin. So if you get three of them, it does a heroic respin. And then you uh, just keep stacking the uh, Toto Wilds and all that, and then uh, you get a lot of chips. Um, it looks like they also do have a free spins bonus here where you go through the poppy field or whatever. Uh, if I recall correctly, they do have the toxic poppy field that just about killed them in the book, and it just put them to sleep in the movie because it was a 1930s movie, and we were kind of softcore for the movies at that time, which was really, really bizarre because it was a tough time in American history, and I was expecting something a little more hardcore and violent but again it's the wizard of oz what do you what do you really expect all right so we're almost at the halfway point over here and watching some of these wins really makes me wonder why i can't read slot reels slot reels are so difficult to read they're difficult to work with because they, they kind of look like poker reels like video poker reels and you get the general idea of the game like two of a kind is a good thing but you never know if it's two of a kind of like an ace or a queen or two of a kind of whatever special character it is or just what what you need and then which ones qualify as wilds and which ones do not all right at the halfway point over here guys we've already lost 13 million chips just going through this and will we get these free spins no we will not and I'm really hoping we can get these stacked wilds with uh, Toto here just to kind of make up some of our uh, deficit and here's our last chance to get those all right not exactly it doesn't look like it's happening I feel like we haven't gotten any big uh, free spin bonuses for quite some time in this uh, in this whole challenge here I'm wondering as you know, as time goes on and as we wind down the challenge, are we ever really going to see any big bonuses? And it also kind of makes me wonder, which one of these really was the best game here? Because I feel like it was Señor de los Cielos. That was a really good one, but we did have a couple other ones. There was one game that we played where we didn't, uh, we didn't lose a single chip. We actually ended up giving up just because we had won so many free spins there. I know it wasn't Treasure Bowl. I think it was a different, it was a My Konami or Ainsworth game there, because I remember there wasn't a lot of interactivity with it. And we just got like a billion free games. It was nuts, and I just ended up having to stop playing because it was too intense. All right, guys, we are, uh, we're in the home stretch right now. Uh, we only have about 30 spins to go. I'm going to see if we get anything else good. 
Uh, thinking about dropping by the Palms Hotel. I haven't been in the Palms for a while, and I know for the next trip, I definitely want to check out the Level Up Karaoke uh, competition, or not really the competition, just the open mic night at Level Up for the Karaoke Bar. Uh, because I'm not sure if you guys know, also ironically, in the MGM Grand, uh, there is a little video game bar in the way back. Uh, took uh, one day there on our vacation, on our honeymoon, or, well not our honeymoon, it was our anniversary, I should say. I'm not sure why I kept saying honeymoon, I keep wanting to say that. Uh, but no, we uh, went on our anniversary, it was our one year anniversary, and we decided to go ahead and go there and we played the, played the video games. But I didn't know that they had karaoke, because uh, I don't think we were there Sunday, I think we'd left Sunday... Uh, evening and it was uh yeah but they started at nine o'clock on sunday i think the jj's name is scooby i'd really love to get an interview with that guy if i could arrange it so just depending on what days i go i'll have to make sure i can get a hold of him on the instagram or on uh maybe on twitter or just what have you and that'd be pretty spectacular too so i'm gonna try about that and i'm also wanted to get an interview with mgm uh specifically with m life because I really want to see where we can get some of the best comps. I want to understand how to get better M Life comps, and especially since they've tightened things up. And I really like to see if it's still worth uh, putting in the effort for. Okay, we are winding down. Only got about three more spins to go, and then we'll see if we get these free spins here. Oh man, that'd be killer if we get it on this next one here. Because this is our last one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. And will it explode? Is it gonna go? Man, these reels are teasing me. Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm sorry, guys. Well, it looks like we ended with a sum total of 577,959,628 chips. So how about I go ahead and go back to the main screen. We're gonna do some maths and I'll uh, count up the booty. All right, guys, and once again, after playing the game over here, my Vegas is encouraging us to buy chips because we actually had a pretty rough payback percentage of 56.38%. Rough time, rough time, not what I was looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to you guys in the comment section below. I already put up a community post last week to have you guys let me know which games that you want. So I'm going to check that. And also, if you want to put them in the comment section below, to let me know which games you want me to play next, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'd happily oblige. All right, spinners and sharks, until next time, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning.